So here we go. Omni HD in Canada. Montreal on the Rogers network. And I don't know if you can see this. Normally, I have full bars 3G in my basement. I'm running with Edge on 2. Uh, you can't seem to connect to any 3G network here for some reason. Um, but other than that, the phone is great. It does take great video, uh, great pictures. And I'm running on the um, Hong Kong software firmware version. Let's see, I'll show you. It's the IH2. There you go. Language set English. It starts off in Chinese when you open it, but very easy to get out. Uh, there's a couple of things about this phone that really bother me, uh, and anybody else in Canada looking to get it. MMS was a pain to get started. Uh, finally figured out how to do it, and I'll come and show you the. I'm gonna go to settings, I'm gonna connectivity. I'm gonna go to destination to MS and these are the settings you're gonna have to put access point name media.com username media you're gonna have prompt password set to no password is MDA01 um, authentication you're gonna have to change that to normal it's normally on secure but if you keep it on secure you won't be able to send it so change it to normal you got your home page set to mms.gprs.rogers.com uh, access point auto and you're gonna go to advanced settings and this you're gonna have to change here also this was the key to getting my MMS to work uh, 172.25.0 107 port 8080 uh, you're gonna notice that when you try to send an MMS that it stays in your outbox uh, but the user should still be able to get it on the other end. Uh, it took me a long time to get this to work. Uh, a lot of searching on uh, Samsung i8910omnia.com, great form. A lot of good people on there helping out. Uh, another thing that sucks is web browser does not work. Uh, actually it does work, but you cannot connect to the internet on Rogers with this device. If you're on Fido, apparently it works pretty well. Uh, I'm only able to connect on my wireless network. Uh, so that was a big, big bummer about the phone because I'm always out on the road and I cannot check my email or anything. Uh, battery life is another thing that really kind of is a bummer on the phone. Doesn't last very long. I've barely used it today and I'm already down two bars. Uh, signal reception, as I said already, horrible. Phone's great. Video quality is awesome. If you want the best video quality, I am telling you to go with the IH2 Hong Kong firmware, uh, which can be found on the form that I just told you about. Uh, I've tried all the other ones, the Italian, the Russian, uh, some custom firmware, and none of them have even close to the smoothness and quality that the Hong Kong one has. Yes, the audio isn't very great on it, but I personally rather have smoother video than good audio. Um, what else to tell you? I mean, I'd seriously consider uh, looking at your other options before picking this phone out. Uh, it is a great phone, but it might get you a little frustrated. I guess depending where you where you live. For me, this reception is just killing me. I'm want to switch my phone, like today. <laughs> uh, find something else. Uh, but other than that, you should have a good time. Uh, it's a nice feel in the hand, as I'm sure everyone's noticed from all the other videos. And uh, I think that's all.